Hello, my name is Woof Blitzhair, and I had the distinct pleasure of interviewing Nathaniel McKelly about his famous production of La Rose and the Drum, The Circle of Life. This interview is edited for brevity. So thank you very much, Nathaniel, for taking the time to explain your latest video masterpiece, and congratulations on completing your project. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the question is, are you a real medicine man? No, I'm not a real medicine man. Well, what, what would make you a real medicine man? Do you have to get a degree or something? It would be, or it uh, requires more uh, skills and more knowledge than I have currently. Ah, uh, so that hat that you have, let me see that. Is that a real fox? Did you kill that fox yourself? No. Turn around, I, please. Wow, that's a scary fox. No, I did not. Okay. I did not kill the fox. Yeah? Come on. So there's a rumor, though, that you did kill the buffalo, um, the hide on your wall, in your teepee. Can you show us your teepee? Well, that's, that's real buffalo hide? No? No, not real buffalo hide. Okay, it's buffalo paper. So what other projects did you consider for your creative project? I considered a few. I uh, considered doing a project for where I would build a, a statue with removable and attachable ligaments that, ligaments. Represent, that represented uh, Tiongo's Upright Revolution and have also considered doing different dioramas for, uh, for different writings that we have read. Aha. Uh -huh. So why did you settle on the drum? I settled on the drum the as, really it cool. has, as it has multiple different uh, facets to it. It's got a spiritual uh, reference. Uh, it's, and it's also used to heal people as well in Ojibwe culture. Wow. So how is the drum constructed? It's constructed out of a total of 12 different boards, 12 different pine boards, that have been glued together and have been stained with... Ah, it looks like you made a second one. Yes. Is this like an emergency standby in case the first one falls apart? Correct. And this also oh, uh, serves as... You glued these together? Yep. Wow. And that's, also serve as a storage unit as well, if, ah, if not a drum. It's like a chair or something. Exactly. So you have 12 panels, is that what you call them? Yes. Can you show us one of the panels? Yeah. I'll show you this one right here, actually. So this one right here, not just a oh, panel. Oh, they come out. We don't have any individual panels, but I can show you a panel close-up as well as an icon. Okay. What's on the back of that rose? Ah, uh, nothing so super special. Just the wood grain. Well, or just, just wood. the grain of the wood. So this actually comes out, and you look inside, look at that. It's like a like a real wigwam or something with uh, petroglyphs on it. That's really neat. And you cut those out, those icons out how? Uh, just with the use of a scroll saw, modern technology. Very cool. So what's this top? What is that? Ah, uh, the top is actually made out of goat skin. That's real goat skin? Like a real yes. goat? Yes, made out of real goat skin. No, you're not you're not kidding me. That's not like paper or something. No, not paper. Well, you can that even is goat skin. see a little bit through there, actually. That's very cool. Where'd you get the uh, goat skin? Well, it actually comes all the way from Pakistan, or at least that's what it says. Very cool. But this wasn't the first revision. We also, we also ah. experimented with the use of Naga hide as well. Uh. It didn't offer the same structural integrity as as the goat skin did. Uh, yeah. did you did you did you kill the goat yourself? I did not. Did you kill the naga? No. Okay. Sorry. That's offensive. Um. No, I've lost my place. So why did you start and end your video with your back to the camera? I did this in order to kind of create some suspense with the audience, try to get inside their minds. But I also did this because I gave the drum an opportunity to kind of do the talking for me. Ah, so you had an Ojibwe drum circle playing outside your teepee, correct? Correct. Wow. Did you have to pay them? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, I shouldn't ask. Okay, so do you plan to send the links to your video to the author, Louise? What's her last name? Erdrich is her name. Ah, are you going to do that? Not at this time, but it is of interest. Do you plan to do your presentation to, like, Toastmasters or something like that? Yes, this is something that we look forward to doing. Maybe like a Rotary Club, too. Could you use your drum to start a Native American drum circle at Mission College? Yes, perhaps even yeah, partnering cool with the music department on campus. Ah, so what's your next production going to be? Not sure at the moment. Probably something with Shakespeare. Ah, Shakespeare. And don't you have a cousin, a shaman, 
that lives in the Great White North. What's his name? Woodworking seems to run your family. Oh wow, what is that? Wow. He made this. That's really cool. For the Inuit tale of Sedna. Oh, Sedna. Oh yeah, what's his name? He's a shaman. Cousin Shaman, you call him. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for your famous production. We look forward to your next masterpiece. Thank you so much, Brad. And take a bow. Thank you. I want to see your fox hat. Bow deeper. Very nice, the fox hat.